Okay, here we are back in uh, Matrix Gold. Uh, just a real quick video on this one. Uh, some people have been asking how to change the command line down here at the bottom uh, to the top. Uh, it's real easy. There's uh, cogs all over the place, or you could just go to your, you know, M at the top left, uh, go go to a file or not file, uh, edit, preferences, but uh, you can just as easily go to any of the cogs, click on them, go to a rhinoceros, right here it says uh, command bar location and just change it to the top and hit uh, done. And now you're at the, the bars at the top. You know, I have not found a way yet to uh, actually, once you close it out, to uh, have it load automatically at the top. It still goes to the bottom, but it's not really that difficult to click on the cog, uh, go to Rhinoceros, and then just switch it to wherever you want it, uh, and then hit done. Uh, the next thing... Uh, I wanted to uh, show was uh, over here in your context uh, menu. Uh, let's put a curve out there real quick and let's change that to yellow for uh, viewing purposes. Okay, so I have a curve out here and I have my context, context menu out here. If I click on my curve I can see that it's selected down here at the bottom. Okay, if nothing's selected, okay, so this that means I'm just starting up, right? Uh, so I can go to my uh, cog here or preferences here and say uh, when I first start up I, I use uh, maybe circle a lot to, to you know get things going or something uh, so you can actually add those to your context menu uh, you can add commands into your context menu at any point so first let's just take a look at this one so uh, Let's deselect that so nothing's out there, right? So it's just the normal context menu. So when you start up, if you want to use your context menu, you can go in here, you can click click on your preference, uh, you can go into curves, just click anywhere over here where you kind of want it. I want to kind of put this with my curves here, so I'm just going to click over here, and then I'm going to hit add. And now I want to, uh, to put in a new command. I, I use circle a lot, let's say, and it's not in here. And I, I don't want to have to keep going back up top or something. So I can just go in here. I can change it to curve, uh, you know, so it stays in the curves menu there. And then uh, I can type in what it is, you know, circle. And then over here, you just have to type the, the co command line. It's always underscore C-I-R-C-L-E, circle, okay, and then hit enter. And then hit save. Okay, and now it adds it into my box, my context box. It's right here now. So I can just click on that now and just go to town, all right? Uh, let's just say... Now I have my circle. So, you know, every command at any point throughout your process, if there's a command that you always use and you went in your context menu, uh, if you go to that point and then you want to add it to that point. So right now it ha there, it's the start of, there's nothing selected. So now whenever circle so, uh, one closed planar curve is selected, uh, I can go up here and I I can add something and we'll see. Uh, I like to use lines to split and there's no line in there, right? So uh, I can just go to my cog, uh, go around to my curves, go over here and just click on the right side, uh, right click, uh, click the plus, and then I want to add it in. So I'm going to add a curve in. So I'm going to change it to a uh, curve uh, and I'm going to type in it's the line curve. And then over here, I'm going to type in underscore line and then hit enter or hit save. And now whenever I uh, pick a closed planar curve, my line command will come up so I can go ahead in here and, and start messing around with it. Uh, so uh, th that's a way to add things into uh, customize your your context menu uh, any way you want. So whatever 
area you're at and you want to something's not there you can add it in if you if you really use it a lot and you like uh, using the context menu uh, so that's all for this video hope it helps if it did please leave a like subscribe please subscribe and uh, uh, leave me a comment uh, thanks for watching and good designing